guys, Victoria Haffer here, and I'm here to talk to you about meditation. Yeah, the M word, I know, I know, it can be really challenging. So, I don't need to talk to you about the science. I mean, you could Google, there's probably hundreds and thousands of articles out there that have actually proven how powerful and how wonderful and how beneficial meditation is on all levels. Mindset, reducing chronic pain, anxiety, all of it. So most people realize, yeah, meditation's good. Most people think I probably, sh I should meditate, but dot, dot, dot. What is that dot, dot, dot for you? Is it you don't know how, you don't think you're good at it, you think you suck at it, you've tried it, meditation isn't for you, all of those excuses. So I'm here to give you some pointers on how to incorporate meditation into your day that will be something that you could maybe commit to on a regular basis. So really, number one is find something that you absolutely love to do that is actually good for you, right? So it could be something creative. It could be writing or reading or art or gardening or spending time with your horse or your dog, right? And then do more of that. So really what, think about what we're trying to do with meditation is we're really trying to get out of our head, out of the monkey mind, in that over-analyzing, over-processing, overthinking space, and drop into our heart, right? So for those of you who are animal lovers, what I'm gonna to talk to you about today is something that I absolutely love to do. Spending time with your, and it could be a baby, an infinite child, um, but I'm gonna just focus on animal today. So cat, dog, rat, <laughs> chicken, horse, whatever it is for you. Find a space where you're not gonna be interrupted. So sh shut off your electronics, turn off your phone, put on some just nice, relaxing, quiet music, and then we're gonna move into a gratitude state of meditation. And so allowing for whatever comes into the meditation to just be a part of the meditation without any expectations. So I have here in the back my assistants, Captain America and Thor, the Puff of Thunder. Thor is having a meditation with his little toy, the piggy. So let's see how we do with this. So you find a comfortably seated place. Now, if you're not comfortable sitting on the floor, then don't. A chair is fine. A straight up strong chair that allows for your spine to be long. That's the most important thing. So we sit down, we get comfortable, you get warm, you start the music. <laughs> and now we know that gratitude is a very high vibrational emotion. And love may even be higher. It's right up there with with gratitude. So sometimes, have you ever been in that space where you watch your a loved one, your cat, your dog sleeping and you just look at them and you literally feel like your heart is just melting and you feel like it's just like outpouring, right? And you go and shift into that space of pure love. So when you're in that space, nothing else matters, right? And that's really where you want to get into that space of meditation where you're doing something where time stands still and nothing else matters. And so when I take a look at my boy, one of the loves of my life, Thor, my heart just grows. And so I get into that space and you can place a hand on them and close your eyes and you can keep your eyes open as well. So you could do use one pointed focus as one of the techniques of meditation and just to look at them. And make sure you're breathing comfortably and easily. And anytime you notice your mind wandering off to something that you're, you don't need to be paying attention to in this moment, just bring your awareness back. Present time, right here, right now, to this amazing soul that you love so much. Perhaps deepening the breath. And 
once again redirecting any thoughts that are not of the highest vibration we know as love and gratitude and present moment. Just keep redirecting your energy back to this moment right here, right now, where all your needs are being met. And you're not wanting for anything. Once it's been a few moments, you may want to set a timer if you're on a schedule and starting with at least five minutes and then just building on that every, every day and just make a commitment. You may even want to put a reminder in your phone to say, set your time for you, your time to let go, to detach from distractions and just take some time to fill you up energetically. Extend the thanks and love to your furry friends for spending loving time with you. And we look forward to seeing you again. <laughs>